Hey guys, this is Cardal, and welcome to a video on a Newmark IDJ3. I recently got this thing, and while I've been messing around with it, the um, the buttons aren't quite working, and it's one of two things. Uh, it's either hardware or software related. <clears throat> now, seeing that I don't really know the actual software for like configuring this that well, um, I kind of know how to do updates, generally speaking, on devices. Um, so I figured I'd start here. Uh, and as it turns out, the updates for the firmware on this device, the instructions from Newmark are kind of crappy. Um, they're kind of convoluted, and if you're not 100% sure on how to do firmware updates, it's kind of confusing and you end up going to Google, which is probably how you found this video. Um, I do want to apologize for the webcam, but sorry, it's, it's old, it never gets used. <laughs> except for little things like this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the software, then we're going to go over the hardware, getting the hardware ready, and then we're going to actually do the uh, update. So first step is we're going to want to go, go over to the monitor here, <clears throat> and you want to go to the, um, this is the link, I'll put this down below, it's also in a, a forum thread, which is basically what we're going to be following, but a little differently. Um, it, you're going to want to get the software uh, update itself, which is the one from Newmark, uh, which is this um, idj3update.zip, and it's going to have three things in there, and you're going to need one of them. Uh, the first one is going to be the actual firmware update itself, um, and optionally, which is one of the other things, is the Mac OS X version, whatever. Um, I'm not even going to touch it because I don't have a Mac. And the other thing you're going to ignore in there is the update instructions. Um, the only nice thing is it does have the links to the software to update. However, it has one that is kind of weird. So we're going to go over this one because it's super, super easy. So the software is actually uh, Send SX by BOME software, BOME software. And um, so you're going to want to download and install that. <clears throat> so you should have the send sx installed now and extracted the firmware is like nkc6 v103 that's kind of what it is once you have that you're going to run the program and it looks like this roughly you can go to file open find that firmware update file open it and we're, we're going to stop there with the software because what we're going to do resets the midi in and out um stuff where we don't we don't want to have to do it twice so uh, we will go back to the webcam and we're going to show you how to do this so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug the USB and as you can see I have just the USB I do not have the wall plug wall wart plugged in <clears throat> so just with USB we're gonna unplug the USB plug it in and it's gonna go through its power up cycle during this time the play pauses on the left and right are going to light up that's its power up little thing and then normally it looks I think it, I'm pretty sure it looks just like this when it's done powering up we want to interrupt this we want to kick it into firmware update mode to do this you hold the left stutter and the right sync buttons down while it's in its little startup so when these light up hold these down and you just keep holding them until the lights change and what will happen is the Q A and B button lights will light up when that happens, it's saying, okay, I'm waiting for you to tell me what to do. We're going to hold these two buttons down, and it's going to tell, it's going to erase the firmware on it, so don't unplug it when you do that, just in case. Uh, most times it can break the device and brick it. Um, and what will happen is the hot Q1 light will go solid, and it's going to be waiting for us, and then we'll go into the software loading part. So let's go. We're going to do this in real time. You can follow along if you want to do this. It's super easy. Uh, you will not break your device unless you pl unplug the USB in the middle of this, which you have to have three hands usually. So here we go. Unplug the USB. Plug it back in. Hold these two buttons down. There's our Q buttons. Hold those down. There's our hot light. Now let's go over to our monitor and we will start the next one. That's how fast that part was. That's easy. So now in here, what we need to do is tell the software what we're what we're writing to, which is the MIDI out. So we go over to this MIDI out, and we choose the IDJ3, and we don't want the, the MIDI in, we ignore it, it's set to none. Uh, and then we're gonna click send, and then I'll flip back over to the um, thing, uh, the actual webcam, 
and I'll show you what it's doing so we'll click send and so here we are back and so this is gonna take about two minutes to do um, it's actually loading the software right now so the left side what this is is it's kinda of like a Windows progress bar type of a deal so it's just telling you yeah I'm receiving something the right side however is like your hard drive uh, activity light on your computer it's blinking telling you that it's receiving something I assume these are like the pins or so. I, don't, I don't know I don't know exactly what they mean but this is what it looks like while it's doing an update it's receiving data so the software is sending all of the updates, probably what all the buttons do, minmax values and stuff like that, you know, just little, anything that it would need to operate on a daily basis. Um, it's actually sending the defaults from the manufacturer, any updates and changes, so um, kind of cool. Uh, you could also go and read the useless manual if you really wanted to. Um, it's, it is useless. It tells you absolutely nothing on how to use the device. It tells you what the buttons do, but not how to use it you are here to fend for yourself which is the amazing part um, <clears throat> and probably why people spend hundreds of dollars on training so it's done and so we when we did we go okay so this, let's go over it from the start so just so you know exactly what what all this stuff means when you plug it in you tell it interrupt its boot sequence tell it to start an update and then send it and it does this now we need to hold these down again and tell it to leave the update so when we push these two it comes back to normal so this is what it looks like when you first start them so we're done now we're done you can actually close the software and all that stuff we are done you have now updated your IDJ3 congratulations so um, if you haven't done it and you just wanted to see how it was done go back follow it through uh, where I start doing it because we did it in real time and uh, it really doesn't take that long but uh, the sequences on buttons was not super super clear and I hope this helps somebody out if you like this like comment subscribe share it and uh, we will see you guys later